I'm so excited to be here with you today and I am way excited to read a book to you. I've actually never read this book before and so it'll be kind of fun for us to read it together. I am the Snug Harbor Storyteller and I would like to come and visit you and read you a book maybe once a week to begin with and maybe I'll be able to read a couple more books a week in, in the future and you can come and listen to me and I hope that you love reading books as much as I do. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. So like I said, I'm going to read a book today that I've never really read before, but I thought it was so interesting because it's called The Book With No Pictures. And so I thought that might be kind of an interesting book because whenever I read books to my other kids, they always have pictures. It's by B.J. Novak and it is published by Dial Books for Young Readers. And so I'm going to read this to you. I guess we'll find out what it's like to have a book with no pictures and then we'll see what it happens at the end. The title of this book is The Book with No Pictures and it's written by B.J. Novak. So let's see what happens. This is a book with no pictures. Hmm. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how the book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. Oh dear, okay no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say bork, oh wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Bork, oh wait a second, what? Oh, this isn't the kind of book that I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Oh, hey, I I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I, I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Oh, also, I am a robot monkey. What? Oh, and my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing? A glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast, right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Uh, can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? Oh. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? Oh. And also the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh really? And this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things oh and make silly sounds like oh no here it comes glur gugga waka ma grum fa do aye aye brook 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 oomph eemph blickety blackety glibbity globbity globbity glibbity beep beep face. Oh. oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures please because this is just too ridiculous to read the end bonk oh i didn't want to say that oh that is a funny book
You guys, I hope you like this book half as much as I did. I think it's a lot of fun. I hope that you will subscribe to Snug Harbor Storyteller and like the video. And I will see you again next time with another great book. Thanks!